Well, you want to get socks and boots to walk around in the kitchen. You don't need to go into the kitchen for anything, Will. You're not going anywhere. You're going to sit down on the floor where you are there because I don't want you running around when there's glass on the floor in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, yeah, what happens? Um, shit happens. That's what happens, right? So um, I wanted to ask Will exactly what happened, but um, he was uncomfortable here, so can't do anything about that. Um Let's see. Um, children love to experiment. The uh, what's the what's the score? Okay, there's, there's, okay. No one's allowed out of this room. Is that clear? Because there's glass on the other side of the door on the floor. Yeah. Your, Will, your job is to make sure that nobody leaves the room. Okay, because I can't do that. Because I won't. you can't have anything, darling, because there's glass all over the floor in the kitchen and. Mommy's going to hoover it up. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> this is probably not the only thing by the sounds of what I can hear. Um, these things happen, right? There are breakages. There are spills. Things go wrong. Um, Children try to do things by themselves that maybe they shouldn't do. You can't cover everything. You can't protect everything. You've got to do what you can, where you can, when you can. And uh, it's, it's, it's just part of life, right? Um, you know, over time, everything gets broken. Nothing or very few things, not nothing, very few things last a long period of time. Very few things last forever. Most things are in flux, in a process of change. Um, and we need to change, we need to grow. Um, we don't, and we shouldn't remain the same person our entire lives. We should be seeking new information. We should be seeking new knowledge. We should be seeking new experiences. We should be sharing these experiences as we have. And there's no reason, there's no reason for anything not to work in the modern world. Because we have the technology now to connect with each other and to share as much information as we can about what it is that we know or where we can go to get the things that we don't know. It's, it's the way that the things should be. So, you know, over time, houses that were built fall apart. I mean, it's an intergenerational thing, right? You know, who wants to live in a house that was built a hundred years ago? Who wants to drive a car? that was built a hundred years ago. Who wants to fly in a plane from a hundred years ago? We have slow progress. In fact, it's interesting because we, we're, we're doing a big cleanup in the flat today. We're doing a big cleanup around and um, we have to go through all the rooms and clean up everything that's there anyway. I guess we're going to throw a lot of stuff out because Stuff doesn't last forever. You know what freaks me out? I'll tell you what freaks me out. When people throw out food. So many people have nothing. So many people, and, and food's a basic, right? And I know that it's better to have more than less. In the sense that, that the capitalist system requires that we produce more than we actually need. I don't mean we should consume more. I just mean that we're ready and prepared for for situations. But it really annoys me. It's just a personal thing. It annoys me when there's a plate of food that's not eaten. It doesn't mean I'm going to eat the food. It just means that, oh, there's, you know, that could be good for somebody else, somewhere else. 
And I guess at Christmas time is a time where we need to think about those things. We need to think about other people and other places. We need to think about people less fortunate than ourselves. We need to think about those who those who don't those who don't have lives as as we have those who don't have opportunities as we have and that doesn't mean we should just give them what we have because if you get something without putting in work to get that thing you you tend not to appreciate it so anything that's given for free is undervalued. I mean, that, that's, that, that's the presence thing, right? That's why people undervalue the presence. People undervalue the general investment of price and time and, and thought in the Christmas presents. Um, you know, one of my students the other day said that he couldn't find a gift for his mother. So what he decided to do is give her a voucher, <laughs> which is offering mother the opportunity to spend time with her son and to ask him anything that she wants and he has to answer it and i thought that was a great gift because that's not something you can buy that's far beyond that maybe you can hear the vacuum cleaner has been turned off um so so the greatest gifts are obviously the gifts of of time, of presence, of presence being in somebody's presence and connection. And it's it's important at this time of year to reflect, reflect on what has happened, reflect on where you are, the situation you're in, what's happening around about you, and to um to, to have some vision of the future because without vision you can't plan a mission without a mission you don't really know where you're going or what you're doing so it's a great time of year at this time for reflection about our own lives our own experiences our own families what we did where we are and where we need to go um, and this, this whole rant got started because <laughs> Jazzy broke the breakfast bowl, jar, whatever it is that contained the muesli in the kitchen. And, and these things happen. You know, as I said earlier, every, accidents happen. Absolutely, darling. It's true. Accidents happen. Things get broken. Um, we're all broken in terms of people. And, and as I said earlier, it's, uh, you know, life is about understanding that <clears throat> we all die, but so few of us live. What? And you're laughing at me. I made a nice little speech there. <laughs>